Da-da. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm in the little wood, also known as Martin. Welcome back to Duct Tapes. Oh, my God. He's still chasing me. All right, good stuff. <laughs> good morning to you, henchmen. Uh, welcome back to the Escapist. We're playing the Duct Tapes are forever uh, DLC. It's basically spies, and it's really, really cool and really, really fun. So I'm going to try and get over to roll call without getting caught by anybody at the moment. And hopefully they won't shout at me for being late as well. Because if one person flags me up, then it is game over for me. Oh dear, no, no, that's it. It's gone. It's gone. Luckily, there are no snipers inside of here. So uh, in the last episode, we managed to finally start doing some jobs. We got ourselves a glass shank, which is a four out of five weapon. Um, I also got a stun pen as well, which is really, really cool. And I think in today's episode, we are going to make sure that we get our intellect up high enough so we can go and get ourselves the metal shop job. Because in the metal shop job room, there is this thing, this weird question mark crate thing. Now, I don't actually know who does that job, so I guess I'm going to have to find out. Uh, let's have a little look. Is it wood? Oh, wait, but is it wood shop or metal shop? I thought it was metal shop. Oh, no, it's wood shop. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So that just means we have to target whoever has that job. So wood shop is Chen. Right, okay, cool. So let's go keep an eye on Chen at breakfast, and as long as we can keep him away from the job, and then he loses it, it won't get filled in before the end of the day, I don't think. I think we can get through to the end of the day without any problems, so that'll be fine. And then obviously it just gives us kind of like, I don't know, I guess like a 12-hour day just to basically hit the books really hard, jump in the shower, hit the books hard again, and eventually we'll have high enough intellect to take the job on. I don't think it'll require any more than like 50 intellect because the top job usually requires 75 plus, so I think we might be okay. So the main thing I need to do right now is make sure I can target Chen, but also not pull any of the guards... That god, he's right on his tail. Jesus Christ. Ah, there you go. He's drifted off a bit. There you go. Go on. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. All right, let's move him away from here. I'm basically just going to get him to follow me until the job period is up. That'd be really good. Unless a guard wants to knock him out. Oh, no. What do you mean stop that, Connolly? Come on now. Come on. That's not fair. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm taking a lot of hits. There you go. I could probably knock him out, actually. I could probably take another hit from a guard. And then we're all good. Right. I'm just going to run around with him. <laughs> I'm just going to run him somewhere really different. I've got every guard in the place on my tail right now. Oh, oh, God. Right, I can't take another hit. I cannot take another hit. I can't run into another henchman right now. Because that will end horribly for me. This is actually really bad. Yeah, because I don't think I can distract Chen for long enough. How much was Chen hitting for before? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to do it. There you go. Oh, I managed to get a sneaky hit on him. And I'll just make him follow me. That's fine. That's fine. Right now, if I just make him run around in the showers until job period is over. We're only half an hour into it, I think. So... I've got to burn a load of time until, like, 1 a.m. Or, sorry, 1 p.m. Come on, go, 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 go. But I feel like I must have distracted him enough now that he will lose the job. Come on. I don't understand why he's not changing into underpants. That's weird. There we go. So he only hits me for four, so I can take a few hits. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're right, he's got, like, full orange name on me now. That's okay. Uh, that wasn't me. That stain wasn't me. I'm not, I'm not pooping my pants right now when Chen is chasing me. I know he's a pretty good assassin, but I'm not that scared of him. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. All right. Now I'm just going to lose him. I'm fairly certain that I've wasted enough time now. It's coming up to 1 p.m. The job board is right there. So I am going to go start working on my intellect. Will he continue to follow me? Mm, I doubt that very much. <laughs> yeah, you're like a magic eight ball. Dear Chen, will I be happy when I'm older? Cloudy outlook. <laughs> Cloudy outlook. We're not too sure. We're not too sure. Right, afternoon roll call. So, hopefully they're not going to check my desk. Chen should have lost his job. Yeah, vacancy. Uh, and yeah, 50 intellect. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. I'm only like, what, 30 off? Okay, maybe I'm like, I'm like 38 off. It's a little bit more than expected. Right, let's see what we got. Oi! Oh, wait, it's the guy that stands on the right that says it now. That's interesting. It's usually the central guard. Piers and Elbra, that is totally fine. All right, so now it is literally just hitting the books hard for the rest of this episode. Let's get reading. Speaking of reading, by the way, a uh, little update for anybody that actually cares. Um, I'm really enjoying One Piece. Oh, my God. I'm absolutely flying through the volumes. I think when we last, like, spoke about this in a video, I feel like I was probably on, like, the late 30s. I'm now entering, like, the 60 area when it comes to the books. I just finished up the arc, which was, like, the... I can't even remember the name of the place. The Bubble Island, if people know what that place is. And I'm just in now uh, Impaled Down which is a prison but that book series is so so good i've said it before and i'll say it again if you haven't read one piece do it it is so good it's literally the best i love it so much and it's, it's honestly the only manga that i've read more than one volume of other than maybe like attack on titan 
Um, but I much prefer the show of Attack on Titan. All right, I can't read any more books. Uh, let's see what we've got. Uh, intellect, 43. Okay, that's not bad. So we just need to get seven more before the end of the day. Is the job still available? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. It's a good thing that there aren't two job vacancies. Oh, sorry, two job periods in one day. Because typically that's where it might get refilled before you get back around to it. Evening meal time. I still need to chow down on a few words, my friend. Two more. Two more books. All right. Here we go. And one and two. And it sounds like someone is getting the crap kicked out of them just out of the screen. Who's that? Are they just to the southeast? That's the problem is that a lot of the audio isn't particularly directional. Um, so you have no idea like who does what, when, and where. So I can go into my job period in a moment, but first let's just show our face at evening meal and we can find out what is inside of that question mark crate. So what were my keywords from yesterday? I had keywords that I wrote down, didn't I? So I had the keywords of sharks and hammers. I don't know what relevance they have, but that was what I was told when we first loaded up the game. Um, and we had that note from, um, from I guess, our commander or someone. All right. Oh, God, it's exercise period now. Okay. I'll show my face there, and then I'll go check the crates. I'm wondering if this is going to be like the 80 one, where we have to gather, like, you know, numerous items from all of the question mark things to put together one large item. You know, we built the tank before. Maybe it's going to be a similar kind of thing, but just with, like, spy things. Just spy things. <laughs> I actually saw a really interesting, like, infographic the other day where um, it kind of shows off why Daniel Craig is kind of the most miserable Bond of all of them. And it's because he's the one that slept with the fewest women, but he's drank the most alcohol by a very clear margin. <laughs> like, he has put away a lot, a lot of alcohol. Uh, but anyway, let's have a little look what we got. So we've got two sticky tape. We've got a razor blade, a tub of talcum powder, and a file. Not gonna lie, bit underwhelmed. Not entirely sure what that meant. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know what we're supposed to build with those. I guess I'm gonna leave that in there for now then, because they're not gonna go anywhere. It'd be interesting to see if they actually refill each day. That's something that I don't know about yet. So, I don't know. I guess we can look into that later on. If you want to tell me what the sticky tape is for, I'm sure you've already told me the recipe in the comments, but I can check that out sometime soon. Uh, was Pierre somebody that we had to beat up? Oh, no. Oh, no, yeah, we did have to be up Piers. Uh, where is he? Oh, Elbra was down as well. All right, so we'll, we'll chase Piers down after shower period. And we can go and check on Chen's desk. Where does Chen live? Is Chen in, in our quarters or is he in the opposite end? I'll check this way just to begin with because I don't think many of the guards are going to be lurking up here. Let's see. What was it we're looking for? Candle. Yeah, Walton's candle. Chen, 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 Chen. Elbra. Ah, Chen's desk. Okay, here we go. Let's have a little look. Before the camera turns back around... I'm a real spy. <laughs> a pork pie hat. What What even is that? Is that a real thing? Let me Google this. Pork pie hat. It is a real thing. It's kind of the kind of thing that Heisenberg wears, isn't it? Right. Okay. I mean, can I wear it? I doubt it. Can I wear just like, kind of do the no pants dance and then just have a hat on? You can leave your hat on. No, nope, you can't wear it. Never mind. Uh, I actually needed to be up Prowler, didn't I? Prowler for Piers. Let's go. I got this. Oh, man, he hits hard as well. Yep. What do you mean, stop that, Connie? Give me a rest. There you go. Good, good, good. Got him, got him, got him. Wow, he hits hard. Oh, stump pen and another glass shank. I'll take it. And a spatula, because why not? Magazine, yeah. I can make a poster to get out of my room. Only problem now is I've got to try and get back to my room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leg it back there. Oh, oh God. I'm going to leg it back there, dump my stuff, and then get purposely caught. Which means that I will lose a little bit of money, but I'm not going to get too butthurt about that. Unless I don't need to. Hmm. Okay, let me put the stun pen in. Sh uh, the shank. So we've got... I can get, probably get rid of the glass shard for now. If I just drop the glass shard like there. I'm not too fussed about that. So I've got a glass shank equipped. Got one in there. Got two stun pens. Two sharp tea trays. And that's your lot. Can I combine those, by the way? I never thought about this. Can I actually put these together? No, nothing happens. All right. I thought maybe something cool would occur. All right. We're all good on that front. So, oh, God. That's it, Agent. I'm lucky with that. Is that Piers? Do I need to be up Piers? I do need to be up Piers for Chen. But he's pretty strong, right? Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's got, like, 70, 63. Oh, jeez. He's a tough cookie. I probably should have expected that. I probably should have expected that all of these spies would have great hand-to-hand -hand combat. Like, definitely so. Come on. Uh, even in free time. My heat rating's a little too high at the moment. I don't know if they aggro me if I'm below 90. I kind of don't want to find out, though. I'm just going to walk around with Elbra. He'll protect me. He's got my back. Oh, God. Okay. Should we go and get more intellect up, or do we not need it for now? Actually, no. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll work on intellect for now, because then we can actually start crafting uh, some really advanced tech. 
So I'm sure you're going to need to uh, have a bit of a noggin on you to throw together a spy kit. I think evening roll call's coming up. Let's have a little looky. When I'm done reading these bookies. Yep, there it is, 10 p.m. Let's have a little nosy what we got to. 61, and we still got almost like 100 strength, so we're doing all right on the stat front. We're slowly but surely becoming the spy that our country needs. Let's find out who's getting checked. Please don't be me. Please don't say Connolly. Oh, God. The maggots Jewish cell shake down are as follows. Morning, Elbra. Good. Good stuff. All right. Morning, Elbra sounds like a really, like, indie band, doesn't it? Sounds like a, like a little duo that do maybe, like, folk music. <laughs> Morning, Elbra with The Whisper Wind only on BBC Radio 4. Is 4 a music station? I don't know. One of them is a sports station. But anyway, I'm going to get myself to bed. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. It's not even late enough for me to go to sleep yet. But uh, yeah, in the comment section below, be sure to let me know how to make Spy Kit and also what our villain name should be that runs this entire, like, evil secret layer. And name the layer as well if you want to. If you want to make an amazing pun off of their name, then feel free to. Uh, and in the next video, I will definitely be checking out the comments before I film that one. So I will see you all then. Bye-bye.